we're actually right now inside the ads manager and we're going to start here, but I want you to know that you should never, ever, ever be clicking this little button up here that says create an ad. Uh, this is a really bad way to run ads. You don't want to run ads like this. You always want to be inside the power editor. Now the truth about the power editor is people get ridiculously um, freaked out about it, but it's actually the exact same. Uh, it's the same process. They just make it look more intimidating. I don't know why, but the reason we want to be in the, the power editor is if you ever tried to run a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad and you've seen it like, how is it that some people can have these ads that are like text on text on text? It looks like they wrote a freaking novel and put it in their ad and then you go to run it and you get cut off at 140 characters. It's because you're using the ads manager, not the power editor. The power editor removes limitations, opens up new tracking features. And honestly, you just want to be in there. I tell all of my students, if you're not in the power editor, you didn't come to play ball. So start in the ads manager, but you click this button up in the top left and you take it over to the power editor. Now, if things change, just know you can always go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manage forward slash power editor. Now, when we get in here, it's going to look like, whoa, what's going on? Um, what this really breaks down to is you don't need to really understand a lot of this stuff other than campaigns, ad sets, and ads. Okay, so at the surface level, the way Facebook breaks things down is you have campaigns. And campaigns tell Facebook what you want to do. Do you want to get video views? Do you want to get conversions? Do you want to get clicks to your website? Do you want to get post likes? Do you want people to just like you on Instagram? Do you want to get new followers? So you tell it at the campaign level what the goal of it is. The ad set level is housed within the campaign. Okay, so you have one campaign and it can have as many ad sets as you want contained under it. So we're going to tell Facebook, hey, I want to run this for conversions and I want to test out these 10 different ad sets. And what an ad set does is it allows you to set the budget and the placement. So you're going to be saying, okay, I want to run this for conversions to get people to join my list. And I want to spend $5 a day targeting um, Instagram. We'll just keep it simple. So you want to target Instagram and you want to spend $5 a day. That's one ad set. If I run another ad set where let's say I want to spend $5 a day and I want to target um, Amy Porterfield. Then I'm going to spend $5 a day on Amy Porterfield. That's another ad set. And then each ad set has an unlimited number of ads. And the ad is the copy, the picture, the image, what you actually see in the Instagram feed. Okay. So that's like a very quick explanation of how it works. Here's all you have to know. One campaign, feel free to put as many ad sets as you want in it. Uh, my personal philosophy is when you're first starting out, just do one ad per ad set. You can do as many ads as you want and, and tell Facebook to make the decision about what ad to spend the money on. I would rather do my own split testing and say, spend $5 a day on Amy Porterfield and I'll go check in 48 hours if it works or not. Okay, so perfect example, we're running one right here. We have 18 conversions at 320. I would rather go back in and I'll give you a perfect example here here's a bunch of pages that we're testing. I would rather come in and say, okay, which of these is working and which of them isn't rather than giving Facebook the choice to do my own targeting for me. Okay. So that's how ads, ad sets and campaigns work. So in order to create an Instagram ad, you just come up to the top left and you click create ad and you're going to create a new campaign. So we're going to call this Instagram ad Oops, sample. And our objective is going to be for website conversions. Now you're going to be running it for website conversions. If you're sending them to a landing page and you want to get them to join your list. Now, most of you are going to be doing that. There's a ton of other stuff you could do with Instagram ads. You could be after engagement. You could be after comments. You could be after followers. Um, but what you're going to see the best direct return on when you're first starting out is the website conversions. Yes. There's all kinds of other strategies. Yes. There's way deeper stuff. But when you first start out, this is the easiest way to do it.